Hello everybody. Thank you very much for sending in all your letters about the Ice Bucket Challenge. You wrote extremely well. You listened to what Mrs Stone asked you to do. Your letters were very, very good. And despite the number of you who voted for me, I have heard about, I've decided that we will do the Ice Bucket Challenge. So Mrs Stone is going to get that organised for the very end of term. And I just hope it's not me that wins it. But well done for your writing. Mr Holditch obviously has cancelled the Ice Bucket Challenge this year because of the coronavirus and lots of children aren't in school. So we told the children in year three and four who were at home and that then Mr Holditch started getting all of his letters saying, Dear Mr Holditch, please can we have it? Please, please, please. We're so um, bored and lonely at home. We want to have some fun. Can you do the Ice Bucket Challenge and put the video on YouTube? And Mr Holditch said, yes. Well, hello, St Peter's party people. Thanks to you, home learners, we are allowed to have the ice bucket challenge today. Thank you so much. Your letters were fantastic, and they persuaded Mr Holditch to let us have our annual ice bucket challenge. There were a few children who, by mistake, had put my name as the person they voted for. So those children, you know who you are. I'll be waiting on the playground when you get back to school. So you mentioned in your letters that if it was a nice sunny day it would be nice and cooling for the teachers it's raining <laughs> I've got my partner in crime with me today eyes of a hawk strength of a bear he should be here any minute should be here any minute no oh so you my partner in crime so let's go and interview some teachers and see how everyone's feeling this morning. Let's go and interview some teachers. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, you stay here and protect the base. I cannot keep working with these amateurs. Anyway, let's go and interview some. Here's Mrs. Paget working away. So, Mrs. Paget, how do you feel about today? Do you feel confident that you won't get chosen, or do you feel like... Oh, absolutely. Oh. I don't think anyone would vote for me. Why would somebody vote for me? I'm so kind. I teach everybody Spanish. I help everybody. We play loads of fun games. I don't think the children would vote for me. There are other teachers. Teachers who eat cakes in the staff room, <laughs> who sing out loud, who yeah. annoy everybody. Why would they vote for me? When you're so modest. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you, Mrs. Paget. See you. Mr. Eastwood, how are you feeling today? You feel, do you feel nervous? Do you think you'd be a prime target for the children? No, I don't think so. Um, I've never been chosen before, and um, I just I think I'll slip under the radar. I mean, I don't, I don't, I, I don't see why anybody would want to choose me when Miss Burgess is in the competition. <laughs> because obviously, Miss Burgess um, is, uh, yeah, people would like to see Miss Burgess get wet. Okay. But, but not me. I mean, I'm just, I've dressed up because I don't think it's going to happen. Okay, so do you feel that some of the children, being fellow Liverpool fans, will support you? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, everybody should support Liverpool, really. Even the Chelsea Manchester United. Liverpool, um, and they are rightly so, champions of the world. Uh, they won the uh, World League Cup at Christmas, and they've also won cricket. Um, in fantastic style, so yeah. Okay, so here's Miss Burgess, guys. Um, how are you feeling about the Ice Bucket Challenge? I'm feeling confident. I'm feeling confident. Last year, I kind of did my bit for, sc for the school, and I feel like the children are going for Mr Eastwood, so get your swimsuit out, Mr Eastwood. Now, because they are my friends and I want to help them prepare for being drenched in ice cold water, I've got my water gun and I'm just going to prepare them a little bit. I don't know what you're thinking. Mrs Stone, you've probably got marking to do. Would I rather do the marking? Yes. Would I rather clean out the guinea pig? Absolutely. But I'm always going to be there to help my friends. Hi. Going to see Miss Burgess? Definitely need help. Oh! that she will not get <laughs> so before we head outside onto the playground for the ice bucket challenge I just wanted to say a huge thank you to you because without your letters we would not be having this fun in school today so I hope you've got your ice lollies ready now the Ice Bucket Challenge is usually arranged and organised by School Council. School Council haven't had much organising to do this year 
If you're at home and you're a school council member or anyone doing home learning, what I'd like you to do is, if you feel like you could make a difference to the school council, instead of nominating each other this year, which we usually do, if you're at home, you can write a letter in to me and explain why you think you would be a good member of the school council. You might want to share some other fun ideas that we can do in school. So, okay, let's head out onto the playground. Well done, guys. Okay, welcome to this year's Ice Bucket Challenge. Here are our nominees. Mrs. Maloney. <laughs> the next person who is safe is Mrs. Beecher. <laughs> okay, the next bit was very, very close, but we can only have two people on the chairs and one of them will get the ice bucket. The last person to be kept safe is Miss Burgess. Yes. Oh. Yes. Oh. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> okay, Mr. Holditch and Mr. Eastwood, please take a seat. I have checked and verified the results. Yeah, I'll bet. Okay, you know, to need to tell <laughs> Mrs. Hutchings. Oh, you have some Hutchings now. Oh, I saw it. Okay. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero! <laughs> <laughs> party people you have voted for Mr Eastwood so if you'd like to be in the school council and you've got some other fun ideas please write a letter send it to the school office email it to me and we'll see if you can make it into the school council this year okay well <laughs> you are very unkind Mr. Yes. <laughs> teach year three and four they said persuasive writing they said and then you sent your letters in Dear Mr. Holditch, me, 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 me. Dear Mr. Holditch, me, 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 me. Now look what's happened. I'll be waiting for you when you get back next week. Joking. Bye, guys. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>